I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Bonjour, no. Welcome back to, to, to G Grumps. Um, on the last episode, we were, Dan said the next episode, as in this one, mm -hmm. will contain me talking about what I would change about Breath of the Wild. Yes. So, I feel like that's an interesting topic, so let's talk about it. It certainly is. And let me start by saying, I've never played this, so I really can't say one way or the other, but I don't think I'd change a thing. This game looks fucking amazing to me. But also, I don't have as discerning an eye as you do towards games, um, or as critical an eye. Mm -hmm. I'm much more, like, easily amused, because I grew up with fucking Pac-Man. <laughs> So, with that in mind, go for it. I don't... I, I've said this a million times, but I feel like it always bears repeating because... Um, I think it's easy to forget. It, in that, uh... It, I envy people that can enjoy a lot, a lot of things. Because I, I'm... I don't... I wouldn't say I'm cynical, but I'm just very analytical. So... I see something and I'll enjoy it for what it for what it does give me, but then I'll like really get into it um, to, to try to make it better. I mean, I feel like that's how I, I've I've been able to build so many things, just because I'm like, okay, what can I do better? How do I make this better? Right. Um, so that's why something like Sequelitis exists, and that's why my opinion of games is always so critical. So I'm always thinking about that kind of stuff. Um, in any case, uh, to come from that perspective. And I've said it already before, Breath of the Wild's a fucking triumph. Like, holy fuck. This is awesome, and I'm having a great time. Um... I want to talk to the bird person? Yes. What if I gently nudged your daughter off this cliff? <laughs> oh, it's her daughter's at Warbler's Nest or some shit, and I gotta go fucking... That's not her daughter her. in front of her? It, there's, there's another daughter. I some found shit, her. Some fucking shit. <laughs> um... My, my whole thing about this game is, uh... It's getting a lot of praise, great. Um, a lot of the criticisms of it are that it gets a little repetitive after a while. Um, you slowly start to find out... Hello, Mr. Owlman? Aww. Um, hello. Oh, oh, the object of your hip could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm the leader of the village. There's a Sheikah Slate, holy fuck, you Link. Have you ever seen the- have you ever seen the bird? Only you can ride it, because champions are... <laughs> Cool, and you're a champion, and holy fuck, you must be a descendant. And do you like my paraphrasing? Yeah. There's something I must ask. How should I put this? I would like you to deal with the giant flying murder bird. <laughs> <laughs> Only a chosen one can stop the divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. Tried explaining this to the headstrong Vritos, but they won't listen. They're all about, like, staying alive and shit, and, like, caring for their families, <laughs> and... Well, anyway... But uh, you look like a young single guy ready to die. <laughs> Please find Tabba. It's uh, weird to see his wing hands. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, he's got big he's just fucking... using them like normal hands. Meaty owl fingers. <laughs> okay, so everyone's criticism of this game is that it gets repetitive. You can explore around, but there's not much to find after a while. Do you agree with that? You sort... Well, I will get into that. Okay. So, you like look around and you're like, ah, oh, what's that? And it's like, oh, it's one of those fucking towers, and it's a shrine, and Korok seeds. That's basically like the meta of the game after a certain point. Right. But, how long does it take to get to that point? For me, it took like 50 hours, 50 plus hours, and that's a lot of fucking time. Yeah. It, it's longer if than the, most games. If the game just like stopped at that point, it would be like, Shit, it, it's it's done, it's over, great, fuck it. But the fact that there's like so much of repetitiveness, it's like, okay, they were shoving stuff in the game to like, pad out the time or whatever. Um... I, I don't know, like, I... People are judging it by a standard of, uh... It's hard to fucking formulate a cohesive thought when I'm like, I know I have to talk to a bunch of people right now. Mm. Um... You can talk to them. We'll, we'll do this and then we'll pick it up. Yeah. Uh, tell the truth, I don't know where my husband went. Okay, so she tells me where her husband went. I just, she went to the flight just, range. Boy, she's cute. Yeah. I'm just so tired of bird dick. <laughs> if only there was another type of dick around. <laughs> Maybe like, elf man dick. Yeah. Some kind of elf man with like, elfy ears. And but but a, a woman's touch to his clothing. <laughs> so, okay, so her husband, Teba, is a real hard ass. 
and he's the one who's gonna help me get to the fucking bird. Okay. Because he's whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm having a flashback right now. So many jib cams. Zooming in. And it's an upside down W. <laughs> Wait a second! It's like a McDonald's logo. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a flying penis. Well, close enough. Oh, this is when it was good. Yeah, this is a good good time for everybody. Oh, this was when it was alive. Yeah. Or well, the first time. Yeah. Hello, bud! <laughs> Hello! Ooh, that's a cool whoa. So this is Mr. Man. Hello, friend. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Mm-hmm. Yet I have made an art. It's Falco from Star Fox. That allows me to soar. Yes, Queen Slay. Quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. All right, well, utilization. Already don't like you. Yeah, <laughs> you flex a lot. What a fucking, what a fucking full of himself, dick. My ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. Okay, okay, great. You're awesome. I get it. Pardon me for being so blunt about how awesome I am. Yeah. But I truly am that awesome. And you're ugly. It seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. Oh, merely, All huh? Because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. Oh, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm also awesome? Yeah. Just asinine. You said ass. <laughs> Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. <laughs> I just want, like, every time, because he, he's so articulate. No. He's just like, How about but where? There? How about up there? Let's have a. That I was just thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you must pardon me. I've yes. I am a bird after. Yeah, yeah, just because I wear an ascot doesn't mean I can. And he just starts pecking at the ground every so often. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, friend. What an asshole. I know. <laughs> He's just like, I can get up there and you can't. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're a fucking bird, dude. Anyway, my husband was a prick. Please help me find <laughs> No, him. he was the champion. Oh. Her husband is actually this other guy. Oh. Descendant, are you alright? Yeah, they're calling you Descendant because the owl guy apparently sent out like a mental message to everyone. Oh. Uh, well, like, birds can do that. By the way. That's how they fly in a V. Oh, there you go. The flying V. Um. Which is also a strange fetish. So if we go this way, I will find Mr. Teba. Um, okay, please continue your thoughts. Yeah, okay, so, right, right, right. So, um. Shrines, Korok seeds, whatever, it gets a little repetitive. But that's after, like, fucking an entire game of, like, weird shit. I think the problem is this world, this fucking map... Mm -hmm. like, is too big? Is is huge! Right. I, I'm already zoomed out all the way. Wow. It, it's, it's gigantic, and I feel like... I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like the map was designed before all the shit in it was designed. Um, so it, it ended up being like two, more than they could handle exactly like yeah. more than they could fill So there's a lot of stuff in it that just feels like they're filling space, huh? Um, which which is a shame obviously But there's enough in this game that's like interesting to make it interesting But my point is that like if they if they were to design a game like this very um uh, Sensibly I think they should have started at one point and then Sort of spread outward, hmm. um, and just kept like building on stuff and building on stuff. I think that's how the witness was designed. Wow. Um, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I seem to remember that being the case. Uh, but I, I think that would work beautifully for a game like this to, to really like build it out from one point so that there's always interesting shit, um, around every corner. Because there's so much st stuff in this game where I'm just running or climbing. Yeah. It. It reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus. It's not... It's not nearly as empty as Shadow of the Colossus, but it's like... It, it's that vastness feeling. Yeah. And I'm sure that's what they were going for. Yeah, absolutely. And there is value to that. I mean, when you mention Shadow of the Colossus, it's... My opinion on that is that, like... Each... Each journey sort of has its, its own little beats to it. Right. Um, so even though there's really nothing going on, it was really deliberate because it sort of added this, um, this like build up. Yeah, this sense of massiveness. Because if it was just you fighting Colossuses and over and over again, it'd still be fun, but it wouldn't feel as epic, I think. Totally. Um, because the, 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 the sense of like, I have to go find him and, and I have to traverse this world to get there. Right. And so this has a sense of that. 
So you were just going to walk by me without getting a cutscene. <laughs> Is that it? This is actually voiced by the same guy who does the champion. Oh. Yeah. You gonna say something or okay? And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. That's the same guy? Yeah. That guy's talented. Yeah. He's also the Deku tree. Whoa. Which we haven't met yet. Alright, well fuck you. You know what? Yeah. Maybe I'll just go. Good fucking Maybe talk, I'll dude. Just fucking go. Good fucking talk. No, he'll talk to me. Okay, great. I'm busy here. I can help you. Help me. <laughs> What's that? With your wife? Oh. She says she wants Hillian dick. Wait. <laughs> Are you a Hillian? Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba. But you already knew that. I just told you. I'm guessing the Elder asks you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? Just like the elder to trust any fool ordering it down. Look, I can hear you. You are one foot away and there's no <laughs> one else here. You may see it. Well, it's like really windy, so maybe he's just like, Look, you see, like, an all right, guy, but let's make one thing clear. Fucking what? Good. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rideau Village. Not to the fucking body bag. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me, coward. <laughs> then he just fucking bites my head off with his <laughs> giant beak. Wow. I'll have to- if I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then I will return to the village. Let's get started! Bye! Are you serious? You'll fuck my way for me? Ha! How far be it for me to talk you off a ledge? Go ahead. <laughs> Jump off the ledge, please. <laughs> but as his elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Meadow is to get inside it. I don't like the way you said inside. <laughs> Fat chance All of that red. happening. There's no way we can set foot in Meadow. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> so, not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beast are the five champions of old. You're not a champion, are you? <laughs> Dopey, sleepy, happy nut job, and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Phileas, Fernius, Georgius, Felonius, and Frank. <laughs> and Carl. <laughs> Carl? Yeah, it's a cross between Craig and Carl. He's very sensitive <laughs> about it. Anyway, <laughs> if it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow one step at a time. If We're gonna we push him down the stairs. It's get it's cannons will blast us out of the sky before we get even get close. And I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We read you know, your warriors should be updrafts in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person can just open up a cloth or their head and float up easily. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets. I'm ready. Yeah. And destroy five targets. With, I don't know why they give me three minutes. You can do this in like 15 seconds. Well, let's see it then, you fucking cocky bastard. Mm. And go. There's one. And there's like two. Probably. Ah, oh, oh. And there's Oof. three. That made me very uncomfortable. Like change my arrows. Uh, oh, he didn't give me extra arrows. What a fucking fruit cake. Uh, boom. There. Nice. And boom. Oh shit. Uh, 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 uh. And boom. And boom. Damn, son. Yeah. See. That was really impressive. Fucking three minutes, really. Come on back. Uh. We'll, use, we'll use the remaining two minutes and 35 <laughs> seconds to, I don't know, just talk about girls. <laughs> Maybe I feel Do you like girls? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> First, when you showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handed that bow, I can tell you the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. I've seen a few. Don't be modest. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. He's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I can just tell by looking at you. You've been seeing a lot of battle. Yeah. I'm, I'm like putting makeup on. Yeah. I can tell just by looking at you that you're a soft, moist boy. <laughs> <laughs> In need of a big bird dick, am I right? <laughs> I don't want to be too blunt like that other guy. Oh, man. I'll get you into position so you can help its cannons off. You've got that. <laughs> the treasure chest is a bow of modified. Take it. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, shiz. It's just like got two penises on the end of it. Yeah. Like, modified this It just bow. says, be mine. <laughs> uh, ignore that. That was some something else. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody else's bow. It's not important. Swallow bow. <laughs> I've yeah. got the spit bow right here. Yeah, just think about that. It's time to go face divine, beast, whatever. 
They hit them with bomb arrows. They're precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Oh, that was cool of him. Yeah, they're very expensive. You want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes? <laughs> I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your rice? Be oh, wait, you know what? J just because. Yeah. Just because? <laughs> you must be off your rocket and be risking your life on a whim, but I'm not complaining. That's fair enough. Yeah. I always wanted to risk my life next to someone who's crazy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> now get on my back! <laughs> Ride me! <laughs> Yay! Onward to fight the Divine Beast Mido. Oh crap, and I guess we'll do that next time on Game Gross, oh, huh? Fucking god, holy shit. Yay! Is there a cutscene first? I guess there's a cut. Let's yeah, enjoy yeah. that. Ah, uh, Taint Cam 2000. Alright, it's showtime. <laughs> Just zoom right in. Yeah. Get really up in there. This is actually my proctology exam. I like to do it while flying. <laughs> yeah. I want you to see my hernias. <laughs> Man, even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. And I'm hot as fuck. <laughs> oh, is he gonna land us right in that little ashtray dish? At the be at the front of the snout? Well, first I gotta take down its shield. Oh, right. It's got its barrier up again. What a pain. Fingers. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to boop the snoot. <laughs> Whenever it sees hot guys flying towards it, it blushes. Yeah. In the form of a shield. Let's go over the plan. A horrible impenetrable shield. See those little nipples? You gotta tweak them real hard. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. You got it so far. And then you gotta divide three by seven. There's a trajectory problem. There's a geometry. You gotta you gotta use the square root of thirty-eight to to add X to Y and then you'll you follow me here? It's really easy. Yeah, it's 100% correct. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times, don't forget your cold protection. Okay, cool. You can move when you're ready. Uh, Back to flight range, please. Uh, next time on game. Runs. Yeah, yeah. We'll fight this motherfucker. Let's do it. We'll see you then. See you, booze. Bye. And boo bets. Mmm. My favorite. <laughs> I might need to meditate for a minute because I am like, bleh, bleh.